Hey everybody, Roxabox90 here with a teaser of an EDH Commander deck that I've been working on for a while already, and it's getting close. When I have the deck complete, I'm hoping to make a rather elaborate video for for him, and I thought I'd share a little bit of a background with you, maybe get some advice from you guys, because Lord knows I don't know everything about Colorless EDH, but let's hop in and take a brief look at Kozilek, the Butcher of Truth, or as I nicknamed it here, the Juicy Butcher, but that's whatever. He is an house, he's one of the Eldrazi, and the reasons I chose him, the simplest reasons, is that the main other colorless commanders are pretty much Karn and Ulamog. And Karn, I am not a Karn person. Karn it can do a lot of stuff, it's a very complex general, lots of different abilities and ways of using him and combo control, a lot of variants but it requires a lot more of a control game and a lot more of a relaxed game. For me, I've run mono green. I like aggro for the most part, and almost all my decks have some variant of aggro in them at least. Kozilek is the biggest guy. <laughs> Why not Ulamog? Well, Ulamog honestly is the bigger target, and Ulamog doesn't have the ability that draws you four cards. And what is amazing about the ability of drawing four cards is that it's when you cast him, not when he resolves in play. So if they hinder him, counter him, do something with him to prevent it from coming into play, you still draw those four cards as long as you paid the cost to cast it. That is huge. That is huge for this kind of deck. So generally, I, I can't go into all the strategies, so I want to make this a brief video, but I will provide a link down below to this deck list that I'm currently working on. It's getting close. The chromatic cost is about where I want it to be. It's roughly four is the average mana cost of things. We have 97 cards, which actually means that I'm short some cards, and I'd be happy to hear if you guys have any advice of adding any, as well as ones you take out and then more that we can add. It's fairly flexible shell. I mean, the main idea is ramp out Kozilek really fast if he's dealt with, which he will be if he's dealt with, figure out a way to support him and come back from it. And there's lots of different synergies and combos that and I say combos, I don't mean infinite combos, even though it's like one or two, but it's mostly like soft locks and ways that make things annoying and slower for your opponents and uh, protect Kozilek, who's hopefully going to be our main beater. If Kozilek is dealt with, there's backup for that, but that will be all hopefully covered in the deck tech. So briefly, what's going on here? Uh, we have very few creatures right now because Kozilek is our main beater, and otherwise, if we're not running him, we might as well drop in other huge creatures that work very well, or act as removal, or act as support, and etc. Soul Nufrex is a very good friend to Kozilek, etc, etc. And um, pretty much we're not really running many instants and sorceries. Uh, I don't even know where the instants are. There might not be any instants, because it's colorless. But we have just one sorcery at all as dust so far, one Planeswalker and Karn Liberated, and the bulk of the deck, the significant bulk, is lands and artifacts, which makes it tricky, but I think it's going to be pretty cool. Um, so pretty much the goal here, as I said, was to get... It doesn't have to be commander damage, because this build is probably leaning more towards multiplayer than not. But here's the list, um, and I will be going into it in far more depth when I put up the deck tech. But if you can, if you guys have any knowledge at all, or you see that there's an artifact missing from here that you guys think uh, I'm missing or that I could use, I'd really appreciate dropping it below, as well as what you think about colorless commanders. Who would you run, um, and how would you handle the challenge of running a colorless deck? Which, for those who don't know, it means you can't have any cards that have any mana symbols, even artifacts that have mana symbols of color. So a card that has, you know, tap one red, tap it to do something. If it's an artifact, it doesn't matter. It has a red in it. It has to be completely colorless to be in this deck, which makes for interesting, tricky building restrictions, but also I think will be make things very interesting. So uh, let me know down below. I'll put this in the description and probably in the comment section as well. If you guys can give me some a little bit of feedback, just take a brief look at the deck, see if there's anything that seems good, bad, any thoughts I'd love to hear down below. And stay tuned, I will be having an extensive Commander Breakdown video in the future once the deck is complete. So thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed the video, tap the like button. If you're new to the channel, check in and subscribe. As always, Rocks of Box and 90 signing out. I'll see you guys next time.